Hello everyone, welcome to today's reading. We're gonna find out a little bit about your spiritual guidance. Are you on the right path right now? Pile one, two, three, and four. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, all the information's in the description. Uh, let's get to your reading, guys. Thanks for being here, bye-bye. Hello everyone, welcome to your reading. Let's find out a little bit about you and your current path. Are you on the right one at this time? Um, let's clear the energy a little bit here with some incense. Pile one, spirit please to me in a pile one's energy. Let's find out a little bit about them with the red candle. Are you on the right path, honey? Let's see. So I have five questions and five groups of cards. So the first one is gonna be your current situation. What is it that's going on with you? Two of cups and the three of pentacles. Okay, so you're definitely working with people. Your situation right now includes companionship as well as um, feeling like you need to work with people, collaborations as well. Um, it might be kind of time for you to come out of hermit mode maybe. Uh, there's definitely a challenge here when you're dealing with other people. Um, as I look at these cards, I feel like your current situation looks good on paper, but deep down you're wondering if you can work with these people, like where are their motives? That's what I'm getting because the two of cups normally is like a really good sign. It's a healthy it's a healthy relationship, but there is a lot of baggage that this person either brings to the table or you're afraid they might be bringing to the table. Um, now, I'm not getting, though, that it's necessarily a bad person. It might just be your imagination. We'll get to that in the rest of the cards, but I do see your current situation right now. Pile one, it definitely involves people. Are they good for me? If I give them more time and energy, will it backfire? Will it harm me? Okay, so that's that's what I got for pile one so far. So the current thoughts about where you're at. We have, oh yeah, see? Look at this. Unconventionality and the wasp spirit. Sometimes life stings. I'm sorry, you guys. It's so difficult on this camera. Wasp spirit and then an unconventional. See exactly what I was saying. Um, so I haven't looked at these yet. I don't know how it's going to go, what the outcome will be, but so far, what I like about you, Pile One, is that you're trying very hard to make sure you're on the right path with this person. Um, I really love that if it doesn't feel right, you're fully aware it doesn't feel right. Um, I, I sense that you're questioning your intuition. I don't think you should be. I really do not think you should question your intuition. I think it's a great tool that you have utilized all your life and you're starting to have a really, really sneaky suspicion that something is not quite what it seems with this person. So we have the Moldavite and the sometimes life stings. This is your thoughts about it. You're afraid this person's gonna like bite back or be really kind of mean if you draw a boundary and because it's an un unconventional relationship. So this could be a partnership in that you're maybe starting work with this person. Um, it could be like a, a blast from the past, somebody coming back. Either way, it's an unconventional relationship and it doesn't quite make sense. Um, and so you don't really know what to think about this partnership. I'm gonna go out on a limb though and say your intuition's screaming at you right now. Moldavite, everybody wants Moldavite. This is it, this is what I'm getting, it's a download. Moldavite is such a popular crystal right now. It's a fragment of a meteor, meteorite, if I'm not mistaken, forgive my ignorance. Um, and it costs like so much now because everybody wants it. I don't know why, but everybody wants it all of a sudden. And it's almost like, well, I do know why. It's a fucking powerful crystal. That, that shit will change your life, I hear, within days. Um, you're very popular right now. This is uncharted territory for you. All of a sudden, everybody wants you and you don't understand, I feel. You don't understand it. Like, everybody wants you or something because this unconventionality is you. Um, I feel like you almost think that you might be, that people around you are too dainty or too fragile and that if you were to say something and speak up about what you truly think, you would um, hurt them or, or hurt their, what am, why am I hearing break their bones? Word, sticks and stones may break their bones, yeah. But words can never hurt them, right? If, if, you, if somebody is hurt, if they have a triggered feelings... It's really their ego that is hurt. It's the wounded child within them that, that needed, to, uh, uh, needed to deal with something. So right now, I'm getting that you are starting to think this is not a good match made in heaven. This is not a partnership or a business opportunity. This is not a friend that you want to go long-term with. I think you're starting to see that you might be a little bit too strong for them. You might just be a very strong character and you have a little bit too much oomph. <laughs> I don't know how to word it, but you're just a little too direct and blunt, I think. And it's just going to hurt people that aren't ready for that. And that's okay that you shouldn't change. Don't change who you are. Get friends that can handle it, okay? Don't change who you are. That's not the answer, okay? 
So let's see. The question here is, are you on the right path? Oh my God. You will not believe this literally says trust your path. I'm, a, I'm just about to like stroke out. Okay, this is the most perfect card for the perfect question. Trust your path. I swear to you, I didn't look at this. These are randomly drawn. If you knew you'd be supported, what would you do? And then we have the golden children. Inner child. What did I say about their inner child needs? Oh my God. Okay, I got, I got it. I got it. I got it. You're afraid of hurting this person's feelings. This might be a type of person that you bring in every once in a while that is like sensitive. This is a sensitive person, okay? And you can address them in a way that will not harm them or hurt them, issue bad karma on yourself. Like you can address them in a way that is kind and loving and, and still be truthful about what you feel. Because right now, pile one, you feel, you feel like you have to walk on eggshells. Like even just giving this reading, I'm tuning into your energy. It's almost like, I just need to say what the fuck I need to say. And, and, and this is what you need to do, but it's almost like you're afraid that you're going to hurt someone. So this, this card says the inner child, inner children, no, the golden children. It says inner child, tenderness, innocence, and rare gifts. I feel there's an element here of this person being very innocent. And now take it as it resonates. You could, you could flip the script and it could be that they are a little bit more aggressive and, and dominating. But I feel this is you. I feel you have something to say and relate to this person. You're afraid that it's going to trigger them and they're going to hurt you back. But here's the thing. If it happens, it happens. We cannot go our entire lives walking on eggshells around people. That leaves you feeling like you can't find your true soul family, the true family that you know is out there, the, the ones that can really help you, that can really give you the, the sustenance and the nourishment that you need. And if, if, if it's not this person, you need to ask yourself why it's not this person. But right now when it says trust your path, I'm actually going to say you're on the right path. You're supposed to be feeling this way. You're supposed to be dealing with this. There is something deep down that has you worried about this. And I think it has to do with the fact that maybe you avoid confrontation Maybe you don't like the idea of someone being mad at you or disappointed in you. This is probably stemming from your inner child where you would one time say like your truth. You would speak about what you felt and then somebody would be like really nasty back to you. Like, how dare you say that? So there's something here being triggered in you from childhood that you need to work on. And it has to do with setting boundaries and letting people know where you're anger lies, why you're disappointed in them, why you're not feeling the relationship is growing, whatever it is. There's something here about someone you love not hearing the truth from you because you're afraid to know that they're going to retaliate. That's what I'm getting here. Um, so let's see this next one is what you could, hold on, what is it? What you could change to help yourself. What could you change right now to help the situation? Oh, my, I just, I love spirit. I do. I swear to everything. These are randomly drawn guys. I did not look at them at all before. Oh my God, look at this, fear and relationships. That is exactly what I'm saying. Look at this, it says, I'm realizing that I am, wait, hold on, what does that say? I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. You are a being of love, pure love. And this person too, I feel, is very much in love with you as well, or at least cares about you. But you have a fear of offending people within relationships. So I feel like this pile might have found themselves very often bringing in narcissists, people who in the past would bring all of their baggage to you to fix, and it leaves you feeling depleted because you don't set boundaries. I know with myself personally, it is the hardest thing for me to do, like to set boundaries after I've been lenient for so long with friends. And that's the problem. Why was I so lenient to begin with? Why wasn't I just drawing boundaries at, at the get-go? And this is what I'm getting with you. Sometimes you're afraid of stinging people. You're afraid of actually hurting their feelings by drawing a boundary. So I feel like you're actually on the right path, believe it or not. This is a lot of negative, heavy energy, but you're on the right path. You're needing to deal with this. Moldavite might actually help you. Maybe you should get a Moldavite crystal. That would really help you barrel through it in a couple days, I feel, but... Yeah, this is actually where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to be dealing with this. Um, it stems from your inner child, okay? And this is why I think you brought in a lot of ne uh, negative narcissists in your life. A lot of fear. A lot of fear around drawing boundaries within connections. Because how many times have we all just like 
put our boundaries aside and just been like, well, I don't think they meant it like that. Like, it's, that's not that big of a deal. Or, yeah, I don't really want to do this right now, but like, eh, I, I, you know, they're my friends, so let's do it. And before you know it, you have literally given up your free will to be in a relationship that you're starting to actually resent. So there is resentment, I feel, being even brought up here now. It's resentment in relationships that is causing it to, to, to break. So what you need to do right now is recognize why you're feeling resentful. All right. Now we've got this last one, which is overcome. Wait, what does this say? I can't. Hold on, guys. I wrote this down and I can't freaking read now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. Here is the outcome of the situation. If you were to change this, if you were to really focus on this problem and deal with it head on, what is the outcome? Oh, shit. Solitude. You never want to see it. <laughs> you never want to see it. Okay. Okay. Here's the thing. Although you're on the right path, this needs to be dealt with. And I cannot promise you that if you speak up for yourself, this person won't bolt on you. In fact, with the solitude card, this is the hermit card. I'm actually getting that you're going to still be waiting for the right one. You're still going to be waiting for either the right partner, the right business partner, or the right friend. So I got to say the outcome is you'll probably be alone. But there is this energy here of figuring out why it went wrong. Like why you didn't establish boundaries to begin with. Why you didn't have better boundaries at the, at the get-go. Why in the beginning of the relationship you let things go as long as they went. The red flags kept appearing. Wow, red candle. Makes sense. They kept showing themselves, but you overlooked it. So you're going to get some solitude time very soon to really look at why um, you kind of let your, your boundaries get crossed a little, okay? And so with the waiting game, I feel like you guys will be single again, or you will be kind of on your own right now uh, dealing with some child wounding, some inner child healing that needs to take place. That's what I see. I know it's not probably the best thing, but I feel like a lot of relief just came to me when I saw this. And I feel like you will have a lot of relief come to you when you, when you recognize this truth. Um, you're on the right path. Yes, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You're supposed to handle this problem and you're supposed to do it with love and kindness. And then you're going to find out that maybe you're just not compatible anymore. Maybe it just won't work. But um, I would have loved to have told you something different and I'm sorry that I can't. Okay. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading, guys. Let's find out if you're on the right path. Okay, let's get you some spiritual advice right now. Uh, it's not spiritual advice. It's advice from spirit. But who knows? Maybe it's a spiritual thing for you. Um, let's find out. Okay, so we have five questions, and we have five little piles here. All randomly drawn. I've not looked at any of them yet. Spirit, please turn me into Pile 2. What does Pile 2 need to know at this time for advice, please? Thank you. Now, I want to warn you now, it could be triggering, and it definitely could be that there's an outcome you won't like, okay? And I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. So I'm just telling you right now, um, Spirit is really asking the collective right now to stand in their truth and their authenticity. And I feel like that was that was coming through and I in another pile, and this is coming through probably for you as well, but I don't know. It's probably a different message, I'm sure. Um, but a lot of us have to do that right now. So I'm really wanting to warn you that I will be completely blunt honest about what is going on in your situation and how you can achieve like rest and, and um, peace about it, okay? And it doesn't always feel good, okay? It's not always easy. So let's see. First of all, let's get your current situation, what's happening with you right now. All right. We have the Strength and the Empress card, which are two major arcana, which I like that they're both major arcana and a very strong woman. Okay, so you are coming through as a very strong feminine energy. But the Strength card is in reverse here, and I'm instantly getting that these are women around you as well. These are feminines around you that are stealing your power. And you might not know that they're stealing your power. You don't even recognize that it's happened, I don't think. Because um, I'm hearing here and there, a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. It's like you don't, you're not aware that people are trying or taking from you. They're not even trying. I feel they're very successful. You have an, an endless supply of love to give to someone and it's coming out in the form of self-sacrifice at this moment. Martyrdom, martyrdom. You're, you're, you're almost a martyr right now. You could be a Leo. Somebody around you could be a Leo, but this is really more about like a lot of people. If you're a mother, what it is too is there's a lot of people taking the energy from you that you could be giving to you and your children, I feel. And it's, it's actually going to other people right now that you're not, you're not parenting, like you're not their mom, you know, and, and you're giving that energy away for free. You feel really drained right now. 
because there are people around you who are taking from you, okay? And I don't even know that you know it. It could just be an energetic thing, but it is happening. So now let's find out what your thoughts are about where you're at right now. What are your thoughts? The great gathering and starseed. Your thoughts are that you are meant to do this, that you are meant to help a collective of people. And while I definitely feel you are meant to help them, you're also not drawing very strong energetic boundaries right now. So it feels like this great gathering is about to happen for you. You're about to meet your soul family, and this is a mission that you have. This is a, this is definitely a spiritual pile, actually, pile two. Um, it feels like you are meant to do this and you know it. You're a starseed. I feel like you're helping other starseeds as well. What I'm hearing is there are some starseeds mixed amongst the, the several, okay? There are a few in the many, and you're giving your energy to the many, hoping to connect with the few. You've got to change something to really only draw out the starseeds. I don't know how to explain this. You need to do some sort of practice, some sort of, I don't know if it's a ritual or some sort, maybe just... I, we'll get there. We'll get there. Because Spirit is trying to show me that you can do something. You, you can do something physically in the 3D to, like, make the ones that are really truly there for you, like, stand out and come towards you. Because you're giving your energy away to those that are, you know, it, it kind of reminds me of the, wheat, the wheat and the tares in the Bible. You should definitely look up that story. It's very relevant here. It's like, the wheat and the tares. The wheat would, would bow down or something like that. I can't remember the story exactly, but it reminds me of that. There's someone, there's a group of people and only some are actually your friends. Only some really, really listen to what you have to say. Only some are following you. Others want to sow seeds of division within the collective that you're helping. You're definitely a star seed. And I feel that with the Empress. This is you doing your mission. This is your collective gift. This is your mission. This is what you're meant to do. You are doing it. I feel you're very much on path, but you're feeling like you're not because there are some enemies scattered in the group. And it's almost like, it's almost like it's happening so subtly that you don't want to acknowledge that it's there because it freaks you out and how, how subtle it really is, like how subtle spiritual warfare really is. There's almost this level of like, no, no, that's not really happening, but it is. And this is why you feel hella drained. It's like your purpose, your mission is amazing and you're doing it already. People know you're doing it already. That's why you have a following. That's why people are watching you. That's why people are listening to what you say. The problem is the dark forces see it too. And they are literally within this group of people. But I am here to tell you, you do have real true loyal subscribers, people who are following you, people who are like listening to your message. Okay. You're definitely a star seed and you're here to do amazing work. And these people follow you because you know truth. Okay. But I am just here to maybe help you correct, course correct, because I think that it's too subtle. It's too subtle what's been happening to you. It's not obvious. These people aren't obvious and coming out and saying it. But it's almost like you're going to say something or do something or, I don't know, maybe you'll even cry or something in front of them. And you'll start to see who is truly there for you and who isn't. It's something you do. It could be crying. It could be a ritual. It could be, I don't know, maybe you ask somebody. See, I've done this on a live stream before. Um... When I thought this was going on with me, I asked some people to write what they're grateful for in the, the live, live chat. And I, when I knew that this was happening, I didn't tell them, but I knew it was happening. And I started to ask, what is it that you're grateful for? And I saw some of the most stupid things I've ever seen in my life come up on that, on that screen. I saw, I'm grateful for Johnny Depp or it was Taylor Lautner. I'm grateful for the, it's just, and I was like, okay, thank you. Delete, delete, delete. But the other people were like, I'm so grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my children. And that's how you know. Like, that's the real fucking McCoy, okay? But there are people in your midst, honey, that are literally taking your energy. And it's so subtle that you don't even, you're not even aware it's happening. Now, I'm hearing Saturn retrograde, which I think Saturn is retrograde right now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but if it is, and you're an Aquarius or a Capricorn, this could be why it's heavily impacting you as well. Because Saturn is the planet for karma, and it's the, pa it's the, um, the uh, planet for like patterns and things. And so right now you're learning these patterns that have been happening for a long time, but you weren't aware. And it kind of sucks at Saturn's retrograde because in a way Saturn really helps you get to the bullshit. It really helps you see clearly this stuff. So, you know, that might be another reason why it's happening, but it's so subtle. It's subtle. It's your intuition is a little bit, I think, overwhelmed by the amount of negativity that is being thrown your way. So these people are straight up like, 
Leeches. Okay, leeches. That's the word. I was a whole bunch of things came to mind, but I, I'm going to say leeches. Um, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, uh, it's very subtle. You don't even recognize it's happening, I don't think. But it is happening, my love. Okay, so are you on the right path? Oh my God. I just, oh my God. I don't, I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you. Spirit has been coming through with these cards today. That is insane. I just can't. I literally cannot. I haven't looked at these. I swear to you, I didn't look at these first. This is how good Spirit is. Look. Unrequited love and Ruby, bless your heart. You have some who are definitely there to help heal your heart. It says reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart and then unrequited love. And what you're going to see are these leeches. You're going to see if you just do something to change the energy within this friend group or whatever. Like, I don't know, maybe you could just say something like really off the cuff and just kind of throw everybody for a loop. Say something like, um... You know, if you're a twin flame, I, I do this sometimes and it really shocks people. I'm like, man, I love my twin flame. Man, I am in love with my twin flame. You could practically watch people foam at the mouth when you say something like that. Like they will practically convulse. So that's what I'm getting for you. You need to say something so radically different that people are like, what? What did she just say? Wait, hold on. What? What now? You need to separate the wheat from the tares, my love. That is what you need to do. And also, too, you might want to take some time off and not really share so much right now because I really feel you need to take care of your heart. And it's the reason that your heart is broken is because you can feel the unrequited love. Your soul can feel it, but your 3D self hasn't seen it yet. Your soul can tell that there is unrequited love in this group. There are people that do not want you to succeed in that group. So what I'm getting for you is you need to be more aware, but it's not your fault. One, Saturn is retrograde. But two, it's not your fault because your nervous system is being short circuited. There's like so much depression from these people and they're in your environment that you're not even fully aware that it's overloaded. Your, your body is overloaded. Your emotional body overloaded. Your everything is just overloaded. And that's why you can't feel it. You, you can't consciously sense it, but your soul fucking knows your soul can feel it. So if you're like me and you have a channel or you do live streams like I do, I'm telling you, there are people in your midst who are jealous Julies, negative Nancys, salty Sallies, right? And they're not good people. They're not. I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. They're not good people. All right, so let's keep going. God, this is really, sorry. It's just, I need to talk about it. Um, so are you on the right path? Uh, I, yeah, I actually think you are. I actually think you're on the right path. It's just, you need to deal with that. Ugh. Anyway, she just looks conniving. I'm sorry. She just looks like she'd tear out your jugular. All right. So what do we have here is what, what you, what you could do to, okay, hold on. What could you do to change your circumstances? Oh my, oh my God. I just, I'm I, like, I'm shook. That's all. It's like, like I'm freaking just shook. Speaking of shook, that's what you need to do. You need to shake up things by like being a little cray cray. I don't know. Do something crazy one day. And just have people go like, what the frick happened to her? I don't know. Like do your makeup different or wear a wig. Hey, hey no, like seriously, I can see somebody wearing a wig right now. Wear like a really fun wig and then see who like is mean to you about it. And who else is like, girl, that looks nice. Okay. Actually, I'm hearing that that might not be the best thing because people will still tell you that you look good even if they think you don't. Because why? Because they're jealous Julies, salty Sallies, and negative Nancys. Because they're fucking miserable. So anyway, you could do something really crazy to change up your... Oh, I didn't even notice her heart chakra right here. Yeah, you are very pure. You're very divine. You're coming through as the Empress Upright, which I do like. I do like this. Um, what you could do to change the energy. Here's the thing. Stand your mother in ground. Stand your ground. Seven of Wands. You're going to look a little crazy when you do this. Look, I, I, I do. This is why a lot of people don't speak their truth because you end up looking either crazy or like a banshee idiot, or you end up looking like you are a biatch. All of those options are never fun. So this is why a lot of people don't speak up for themselves and there's fulfillment of wishes. So stand your ground and fulfill your own wishes. Make sure that you're recognizing that these people do not fulfill you. You fulfill you. You fulfill you. Not them. Not these jealous Julies. They don't do anything for you. You do this for yourself. 
you need to remember that. And also too, with the stand your ground thing, I'm really getting that you need to do something that lights you up and makes you extremely happy. And then watch what happens to the piranha. Watch what happens. You think I'm kidding. Watch. I'm hearing watch with your eyes and your heart. Watch with your surroundings. Watch with your intuition. Watch with everything. Watch with everything that you've got. You need to want to watch. I know it doesn't feel good. I know. I know. It's like watching a fucking horror movie and you know that you need to keep your eyes open to see who did it. But you don't want to because you don't want to know who did it. But secretly, you do want to know who did it. You've got to keep your eyes open. All right. Your eyes and ears peeled at this time pile too. All right, and the last outcome. Okay, this is the outcome. If you change this hot mess up here, what will the overall outcome be? Oh, thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Literally, you can thank God for this because it's going to be Judgment Day. A huge awakening, my love. Huge, 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 huge judgment. You are making the judgment call. And this is what I was getting, though. People might judge you. Oh, fucking well. Guess what? It's Judgment Day right now right? End of times, end of days for a reason, honey. You get the judgment that you've been given, all right? Karma, it's a real thing. And then we've got humor here, which I really love. I feel like you're going to get your life back. You're going to get your rejuvenation back. You're going to get your, your sense of style back. I just heard people might be bashing your style. Maybe the way you look, the way you dress, your makeup. I don't know. Somebody's hating on you though, honey. They really are. And so anyway, you are going to be like, I don't give a flying flip. Your outcome is judgment. A good, righteous judgment. Like, I'm talking good karma. Like, fair, justice. You go here, you go here. Boom. This is judgment day. This is you separating the wheat from the tares, which is so funny considering that is literally about uh, the apocalypse. So anyway, um, just a little bit of spiritual humor in here. But that's kind of what you're going to get back to, is spiritual humor. You're going to get back to yourself. You're going to get back to loving you. It's just these negative freaking Nancys, man. You got to let them know who's boss. And I'm telling you, you haven't done that in a minute because you are being bombarded by their dark energy. Okay? Bye, Felicia. It's as easy as that. Say something really crazy. Talk about how in love you are with your twin flame. I'm telling you, do it. I'm telling you. You just watch. You watch how one day you just go onto your live stream and you talk about how sexy your twin flame is or something. And you watch everybody convulse. You just watch. You watch all the, the comments, the haters. Oh, you deserve better than that asshole. Oh, you deserve better. Oh, wait, what about Johnny Depp? <laughs> Taylor Lautner, whatever, bye. <laughs> you are going to see the real truth, okay? But you really need to open your eyes. You need to be ready to see that truth. Are you ready? Are you ready to see the truth? Because it's there glaring at you in the face. You just need to accept it, okay? Anyway, I hope this reading helped you. I know it was a little, I told you it'd be triggering, but I can't help it. I cannot help it. This needs to come through. Those who need to hear it, need to hear it. Those who don't, won't. All right? So anyway, I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3. Welcome to your reading, guys. Thank you for being here. Let's clear the cards, clear the space. Pile 3. Hi, guys. All right. Let's find out a little bit about you and your situation. Are you on the right path at this time? So I have five questions that I asked, um, that I wrote down, and then we have five little piles here. So, okie dokie smokey, let's find out. Are you on the right path? Now, I wanna tell you, this is totally a trigger warning because these readings today, they are so intense, it scares me. Like, like no, I mean, it does. It scares me because I, I'm normally truthful and blunt and honest, but like this is a whole new level, okay? Because I am hearing spirit tell me like repeatedly, like the collective is being bombarded by dark energy right now. And it's like, I need to be very vocal and very bold about this. And it is going to probably trigger you. And I'm so sorry about that. But if it does click off or stay, because I feel like triggering is not always bad, okay? So let's find out if you're on the right path. Let's see your current situation at this time. Oh, wow. Okay, we have the Three of Wands with the Page of Cups. I'm kind of getting a feeling of like hopelessness, like you might be losing hope that um, a connection is going to work out or that you will find Mr. Right or Mrs. Right. Like there's something about kind of giving up hope, like maybe somebody won't, somebody isn't made for you. Okay, that first came through. Um, but the pink candle, it makes sense. This is very romantic. This is like a, a flirty type of energy here with the Three of Wands and the Page of Cups. But I am sensing like a, a level of like, 
despair or numbness or something like longing pining that's what i'm getting yearning for this person or or type of person i don't know let's see that's your current situation let's let's before i go hold on i'm gonna get another card i'm not moving forward i want to know why the three of wands is here it's like you're waiting on something with the three of wands maybe you're waiting for that spark of creativity too but i'm really getting this as love okay What are they waiting on? What is this? Oh, it is. Oh my God. Okay. So somebody either approached you recently or you're wondering when someone will um, approach you because I'm feeling like romance is in the air. It's very close and near. Okay. For you guys, like, I don't know if somebody's already come in, but this page and Knight of Cups indicates a new connection about to happen. So you might already know it's happening or you can feel it, but why do I feel like you you aren't sure or something i'm looking at the fish in the cup with you the page of cups i'm looking at the fish and i'm like yeah but this knight doesn't have jack shit in his where's his where's his fish where's his cup what's he bringing at the table huh so i'm almost getting like you are a little bit hesitant to offer something to someone that might be coming towards you or maybe you can feel that love is just around the corner and you don't think it's gonna be good enough or something Let, let's see if i can get more into it um, what are your thoughts about where you're at right now with this situation? Oh my God. Th exactly. Failure. Like you're never going to actually get it. Like, it, like this dream person, it's never going to happen. You're, you're, you're starting to actually feel a little bit lonely and a little bit like, maybe I'll just never have that. Maybe I'm wanting something I can't have. And so we have envy here too. So you might feel a little bit envious of those who do have that. Maybe some of your friends found a person with a fish in their cup, you know? You might be feeling a little bit of envy, a little bit of jealousy right now. It doesn't have to be take it or leave it, guys. But right now I feel there's this failure um, that you feel it's a failure. Like, oh, I should definitely not be single by this age, or I should have had somebody by now. Or, But honey, I feel love is definitely coming in for you. It's just, you're not thinking it's going to matter. Like, it won't even be that great of a person. That's what I'm getting here, okay? Um... Like hopelessness in romance is kind of what I'm feeling. So are you on the right path right now? Not feeling like this. No, the hopelessness is probably not the best thing for you to be doing, okay? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Three of pentacles and positive movement forward. Okay, so you're going to get, you're very, <laughs> you're very close to getting what you want. Uh, positive movement forward. You're definitely getting to be on the right path. You're not there yet, but it's a very small tweak is all you need. It's just a little bit of a just a change. Like all you need to do is remind yourself that like there are seven, eight billion people on the planet, right? Surely one of them has a fish in their cup. If not, we're all screwed. I think one of them has a fish and maybe that fish is for you, honey. <laughs> maybe they want to give you their fish stick. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, sometimes I wonder like why I even speak. Anyway, you're going to get there. You are definitely going to be on the right path very soon. We have the three of pentacles. You're going to be working with somebody who wants to work with you as well. Um, you could even meet this person at work, okay? And it could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio because there's a hell of a lot of water here. Look at this. Um, so if you're a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, you might be meeting another Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. But yeah, this person's going to be the type that you want. It's just right now you're almost like, I don't believe it. I don't, I'll wait and I'll, I'll find out when I find out because right now I don't believe a damn thing I see. Your eyes are deceiving you, it feels. Your 3D reality is showing you that there's not much in the way of love, but energetically, you could pull this in at any given time. You could do this. If you just told the universe what you want, write it down, write it down, and write it down again. Keep writing it. Anyway, I think you might meet this person at work. Definitely coming through. Um, hold on. One more message. Uh, are you on the right path? Yes. Yes. You're on the right path. You're getting there very soon. Okay. Y you are, you are guys. You, you totally are. You just need to hold on, hold your horses and recognize that the past failures in love, those were karmic relationships. Those were people that you needed to fail with. God, that sounded wrong. Okay. You needed to have those breakups in order to get to where you want to be. It was all for your better good. And I know that sounds really sh like cliche, but it is, it was for your better good. So let's find out a little bit more about what you could change to help yourself. What could you do to help this situation? 
Oh my God. Oh my, thank you. You know what? Let's just give a moment to thank spirit. Let's just sit here for two seconds and thank spirit because spirit has come through with these cards today. Like it, it, it blows my mind. These are all randomly drawn and shuffled and I've not seen any of them yet. And the amount of synchronicities that are happening is just blowing my mind. Look at this. See the big picture, positive movement forward. You need to start seeing things that are happier. You need to see the glass half full. Oh, with fish. Wow, that almost worked too well. Hmm. Anybody else find that funny or was it just me? Anyway, you need to see the glass half full and also listening to music right now would really help you. Maybe some love music. Maybe imagine what your soulmate would, would write. If they would write you a song, right? Maybe you would listen to music right now and you hear them serenade you through Bruno Mars. Who knows? Maybe, maybe your soulmate told Bruno Mars to sing you a love song and no one knows that story except your soulmate who came to Bruno Mars in a dream and said, Bruno, could you please write this love? I'm going to give you all the lyrics. You write it and tell my future wife or husband that I love them. Oh my God, that's romantic. That is so sweet. Bruno is honestly, he's one of the passwords on, on my computer for a reason. Okay. Love the guy. Love him. Absolutely love him. Love what he stands for, which is really creative music. Anyway, let's keep going. I don't know anything about Bruno Mars, so honestly, if he's like a total D-bag, I don't stand for that, okay? Anyway, what is the outcome if you change this? What is the outcome for you? The great severing, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. Do you see that? Come on. Okay, the, the anger is kicking in here. It, oh, your guidance is divinely guided. Acacia. Oh my God. Okay. This anger that you have is going to relieve itself. Somebody burned you in the past, like really, really bad. I do feel that they burned you. And it, it feels like you're still holding on to that anger and resentment and bitterness. But it, it might be that spirit is telling you that this person might come back. Oh my God. Eight, nine. Wait, wait, shit. How do I count? Nine, 10, 11. 11, 11, holy mother of God. Hold on a sec, guys. Is this a twin flame? I feel a twin flame like totally screwed you over. You think it's a twin flame anyway. I, I, I think it might be. I have 11, 11 here. Nine plus two is 11, right? Nine, 10, 11. Yeah, okay. Listen, this is a divine, no wonder you're pissed. It failed. It failed. You might even be envious maybe of a third party. Oh my God, it's all making sense now. You were waiting for this person to approach, but instead they might have given their love to someone else. Oh my God. There's two women here. There's a number three here. Oh my God, was this a third party? Wow. Okay, especially if it's an Aries or a Scorpio because I'm getting Mars energy here. So listen. This is anger. This is anger regarding a love connection. And it's almost like they're going to come back. And you can tell in the future that they're coming back. I think if it's a, if it's a real true twin flame, they will. I mean, that's, that's how it works. That's how it's supposed to work. Um, this guidance is divinely guided, it says. I'm really getting that you guys are recognizing this partner wants to come back. And you're like needing to move around a lot of anger. So maybe you should dance right now to some Billie Eilish Man, she, she pisses me off every time I hear one of her songs. And that is exactly what I go to listen to her for. So listen to Billie Eilish, okay? If you want to be mad at your ex, she's great at that. Listen to Lizzo if you need to be your own soulmate. And then listen to Bruno Mars if you want to hear a love song, okay? But guys, here's the thing for pile three. Like, this person is probably coming back, especially with the positive movement forward. And if that makes you foam at the mouth right now, you need to deal with some anger issues. Now, if it makes you suddenly happy and there's like a spark of joy and it's like, really, is that really going to happen? Then you need to work through this either way because it is destined. It is destined to be. And this is why you're so angry is because you, you're like, how could the person that literally was built for me in the heavens treat me like this? If the person who was made for me in the ether rejects me and abandons me, then why won't anyone else? And so there's this anger, there's this sadness that you really need to get through and, and in order to have this come back in, in a romantic fashion. And I do feel they are coming back, especially with the Knight of Cups. That's like the, that's like the best card to indicate them coming back. 
honestly. Um, it's just like, you're angry, you're pissed. I don't blame you, honey. I do not blame you. I've been ghosted one, two, three times by my twin flame and he is nowhere to be found. So I understand the anger, I get it. Um, but it looks like right now you really need to deal with this anger because you need to get to a point of softening to love. Do you see? You probably don't. Do you see that? Oh my God, I need a new camera. Yes, you're angry right now, but you need to soften to love because I do feel that they're coming back. And maybe intuitively you know they're coming back and this is what's got you like really angry because it's almost like, how dare you? How could you do that to me? And then have the audacity to think that you're coming back. Oh, hell no. Girl, I've been there. Or guy, I've been there. I've been there. I was just there like three days ago. I'll probably be there again next week. But you're going to work through this, okay? It's imperative that you do because this is your special someone, okay? Even though you're probably telling me through the camera, you're like, oh, dear God almighty, please let it not be my special someone. It is, honey. It is. Two birds of a feather. Two fish in a cup. Well... That sounded okay. All right, I'm done with the funny humor. I don't have it left in me. So anyway, we've got 1111 here. I feel this is your soulmate, twin flame. Whatever you think it is, it's a high level connection. And I really wanted to tell you that I'm sorry that it happened to you. It is bullshit that it happened, but you need to get over that because I do feel that if you do want them, like I feel your heart wants, you're gonna have to forgive them. Okay, now I'm not saying you have to go back and I definitely do not think anybody should be going back to an abusive partner or someone who's cheating on them ever, never, never in a million freaking years would I ever suggest that. But if they do come back and they're changed, you're gonna want to let them in. And in order to do so, you need to be fully healed in that and like let that person in, okay? You don't need to be fully healed. Sometimes we heal with them, but overall you're gonna wanna heal it, yeah, maybe like 80%. <laughs> Okay. I love you guys with all my heart. I hope this really helped. And if you want to personal with me, all the information is in the description. I have Patreon with tons of other videos as well. So go check it out. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to your reading pile for the black candle. Hi, guys, with the gold washi tape. I hope you're doing well. Let's get a little bit of information about you at this time. Let's find out what you need to know. Are you on the right path? Let us find out. So I've got five piles. Okay. We're gonna find out a little bit about what's going on with you at this time, okay? And then we're gonna find out through the questions if you're on the right path. All right. This is gonna trigger some people. I'm just gonna let you know right now. This is a trigger warning. Do not come at me in the comments. Thank you, Jesus. I do not need that hate today on my plate, okay? So I'm telling you right now, it's gonna trigger you because Spirit keeps telling me that the entire collective right now kind of needs to be triggered in a way to be shaken up. We need to be releasing a lot of these beliefs, a lot of these like, these toxic energies that we've been like consuming for a really long time and we've been believing about ourselves for a really long time. We need to crack through it. So it's gonna be triggering, okay? And if it is, you can totally leave. I will not be offended if you aren't. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go with it. Okay, so let's find out what your situation is. Hmm, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason and we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Oh, hmm, okay. I literally don't understand it, so let's pull some cards. Current situation for Pile 4, please, Spirit. Nine of Swords. Very interesting. And the Sun card. You could be dealing with a Leo or you could be a Leo. This is a case of somebody feels happier alone, but they don't really know how to tell a friend that, maybe. Wow. You have some news to share to a friend. Okay, we got the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. It, it, it feels like a friend. Um, it's okay, there's two scenarios. Either you have, a, you have a crush on someone and you really wanna tell them and you feel like you'll be happier when you do that. Or it's that somebody here uh, is wanting to leave a friend behind and I'll get there more in the rest of the reading, but you need to admit feelings, whether it's leaving a partnership or coming into one. Either way, you need to announce this to this person. Um, in the two of wands in this deck, this guy has a ball of light that he wants to offer somebody, but they're not even there. They're not even there. So I'm wondering if, pile four, you're going through a connection where it feels like somebody isn't even there for you through the ups and downs. They might only be there through the ups, or perhaps they want to only keep you down. Hmm. Maybe they're only there when you're down, which 
kind of sucks, yes, but sometimes that's a very key indicator that it's an unhealthy relationship and that if it's, tr it's trauma bonding is what it is. If you're only ever feeling like you're getting attention from a friend because you're down in the dumps, chances are they want you to be and they're wanting you to stay there and they're rewarding you with that behavior by giving their attention to you. So, and um, this is like you maybe wanting to get out of this, but you don't know how, okay? Now, when I say rewarding you with that behavior, I do not mean that you're purposely wanting to be sad at all. No one wants to be sad. Like, let's think about it. There's no purpose there at all in, in wanting to be sad. So it's not like you're wanting it. You're just sad and depressed right now. And it feels like this person likes to hear about your problems because maybe they feel less alone when you speak and they, and you have problems too in your life. Like maybe it makes them feel less alone in their problems too. This also could indicate that you go to tell somebody you're the same person, your happy problems, your, your happy things that happen. And they might not, um, they might not like that very much. So let's feel, let's see what your feelers are about this situation right now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Speaking of feelers, you're definitely feeling it intuitively. You're definitely picking up on the fact that, um, whew, yeah, no, this is tough. This is tough. You are feeling that it's like a, a battle and this king, the Knight of Swords, he's a warrior, very sharp warrior with words. Um, Let's see if I can get a card. Oh my God. The nine of wands, honey, you got the nine of wands and the nine of swords. Listen, I almost feel somebody here is questioning whether someone will fight for their friendship or if you should fight for this friendship anymore. Spirit, give me one more clue as to what they're feeling about this situation. The moon, that is about right. I'm telling you, you don't know the whole story. It's almost like when you go to have the sun, which is a very happy card, happiest card in the deck, you go to tell them your happy, like, vibes, immediately it's like they try to turn it into the moon. So you go from the sun to the moon really flat, like two seconds flat. It just completely just crashes and burns. You go to tell somebody your really happy news. I see where this is going. I see now why, why discipline is here. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Something successful is happening for you, isn't it? I feel like something is happening. Something is coming in. I'm hearing the ships are coming in for you. You're having something amazing happen in your life right now. You could, maybe could be coming into money. I don't know, but something's happening. It's just a lot more fulfillment. And now it looks like Either these people expect something with the six of pentacles or you're starting to feel like it's just not equal give and take. Like you go to tell them your happiness and you're left with feeling empty. Like why the hell did I just tell you about my pay raise and I found out that your, your, your cat's vomiting. What in the world is happening here? This is, this is what you cannot fully, fully, fully understand. But yet at a high priestess level in your intuition, in your soul level, you're like, yeah, no, this doesn't feel good. Nothing about this feels good anymore. No, 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 something's wrong, something's wrong. You, these are the two, like, this high priestess will find out the truth eventually. And the moon is literally a card of, like, not knowing that truth. This is, there's such an air of confusion about this. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit more here. Let's find out what this one is. Hold on. Are you on the right path? This one is literally, are you on the right path? No, 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 you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Not with this person, no. No, not with this person, honey. No, no, no. No, no. We've got the five of pentacles and the five of swords. Um, no, nope, nope, you're not, you're not. You are, I feel abandoned. You, f you feel like this person is going to maybe completely trash your, your reputation or something. With the five of pentacles, this talks about being ghosted, abandoned, maybe being left out in the cold. And it feels like it's because of this conflict within your, your psyche. I don't think your person is as intuitive as you. So I don't know if they can feel it, but this confusion that you have, it speaks volumes, at least to me. 
you are like, I don't know if I should stay or go. And I'm telling you, honey, to be on the right path, you're going to have to go. I, I don't know why this person is so envious of your good luck, what you're having happen for you. What it is, is you're, you're the sun card getting over the nine of swords. Like you're illuminating problems about being tied up to something. Like you're letting shit go. You're forgiving people. You're actually getting a lot of clarity and illumination about things that were not working for you at work too, I'm getting. Um, you are overcoming some bad habits, some really, really, really bad habits. And I don't think this person likes that very much because they don't know how to get over those bad habits. So it could be like a drinking buddy. They, they don't know how to get over it and they're not happy that you do. They don't recognize that their negativity that they bring to you. So this is what I'm getting. You come and tell somebody how happy you are. Look at this. Five of motherfucking wands. You can't make this shit up, honey. This is definitely not a good connection for you. Three fives. Five, five, five. Oh, no. Oh, no. You, 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 you've got to go. Mm -mm. Here's what I'm getting. I'm getting somebody like you go in and you tell your friend like, I, I got a new job. And like the first thing they say is like, oh, God, I wish I had a job. But <laughs> like, okay, all right, well, there's that. Um, yeah, and then you just take your happiness and it's now suffering in silence, it's sulking now, and you just leave and you're like, well, all right, that was fun. You might need to recognize this is a pattern and you've done this for a long time because of something deep, 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 a deep wound. And I will tell you why I did this before. I would always go up to people that I knew would self-sabotage me, like that would lower my vibration on purpose. And if they didn't lower my vibration, I would do it through drinking or maybe eating too much chocolate. Whatever it is that caused me to have a lower vibration, I did it intentionally if they couldn't do it. So if I had good news and say I went and told my mom something and I'm like, mom, oh my God. So I met this guy immediately. She would listen. Right. But then she'd be like, so like, has he been married before though? Or something, you know, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it really defeats you. It deflates you even. Um, and I think your advice is to keep some secrets from this person discipline. You're going to need discipline to stay away from this person. You're going to need discipline to not share with them everything. Okay, now they might be the type that just pries into your relationships, your love life, your, your personal business. Like, hey, so how's this going? You can learn the art of not sharing everything, um, but it sometimes does feel like you're lying by omission, doesn't it? It does sometimes feel that way. Um, so it's, gonna, it's a gift and it, 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 you need to train yourself in it. It's not just gonna come easily overnight. But I really am getting the feeling that you're going to have to be aware that this person does have these bad, like, vibes, okay? It's not good. Um, but yeah, like, the first thing you hear from them, that is a sign right there. That is something you need to ask Spirit to show you. You could be like, all right, Spirit Guides, I'm going to go tell so-and-so that I got a promotion. If they are not the one for me, if they are truly what I think they are and hurting me, I would like you to please show me. And then pay attention to the first thing that they say to you when you tell them about your promotion. If the first thing they say is not, oh my God, congratulations, and they're jumping up and down in the kitchen, then chances are their next words will be, wow, that must be nice. I wish I had money. That's your clue, honey. That is your clue. It is time to go. See you, bye. Bye, Felicia. That is your time, honey. That is time. It's time. <laughs> it's so time if you hear those words. Okay, now let's see what's coming up next. We have what you could do to change this situation to help you. I'm, I'm not saying change to stay with this person. I don't think that's the, I don't think that's actually what's going to happen. But what could you do right now to change your energy? Double mission. Light worker, star seed, save the world by being you. Okay. Breath of the cosmos. My will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. Okay, so... Listen, listen, I am getting the whole micromanaging the universe thing. I'm getting you speaking. See how she's speaking? You need to speak ahead of time to spirit that you would like to see a sign. I'm getting a lot of prayer and a lot of affirmation right here. You need to like ask your guides because they will so show you. They will show you instantly. If you want them to, they will show you. 
It's just a matter of like, do you want to see it? It's not always good because sometimes we keep our eyes wide shut. We do not always want to see this truth. It is not always fun. Um, another message I was getting was that you are here to do something big. You're here to do something profound as a star seed. Let me get one card for this. Serve the world by being you. Three of cups, yeah. You're meant to help more than just one person. So I think this person around you, um, they might like want to kind of, you know, I, I hate to say this, but I'm getting this energy of like, they want to claim you as their own or something. Oh God, this is sick. Listen, there's the star card. I, you cannot make this shit up. You're meant to do something really profound, really big in the world. Um, one of the biggest things I had to learn was that I was deliberately lowering my vibrations on purpose because I didn't want to do my mission because I'm terrified to do this. I mean, it is scary. It's not always fun for me uh, to like put myself out there, my personal stories and my sense of humor and my personality, everything like that. That's what you're being asked to do. It's not easy, um, especially with a lot of trolls and haters. <laughs> But really, think about it. You're giving all this energy to one person when really you have an entire collective that you're meant to help. Um, and this was the biggest thing for me. It's like, I would give my attention to one person, one friend or two friends, that's it. When really, maybe I'm supposed to help like 20,000 people one day. Maybe I'm supposed to help like an entire world, right? And, and it's like these people thought that I somehow belonged to them. Another, cl another clear sign and indicator is if you do feel they're jealous of you when you find new friends. When you have a new friend and you introduce them to this person, what does this person do? Chances are they're, they, they will like talk bad about them or something. But if you're getting this weird feeling that your friend or your person is somehow wanting to claim you as their own and they're not letting you have new friends, honey, that is a sign, Okay. And it's not a good one. Five of pentacles again. You cannot make this up. We got the two or the ten of swords and the two of cups. You've got to let this go. I know it hurts. I know it does. But this is definitely got to go. You're not on the right path right now with this person in your life. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So if you do change this successfully, okay, let's find out what will happen in the near future for you if you do make these changes. Your dreams need a practical plan and the arts. So maybe you want to do something with music or uh, painting or drawing or something. I don't know. If you want to do something artistic, you can totally do it. But you don't have the energy right now. And also, too, if you were to put your art out there right now, would these people come at you with pitchforks? Would they be like, oh, what does that mean? That art piece. Like, oh, what, what does it mean? <laughs> Ew. That screams mean girls to me. Oh, yeah, I see it's a sculpture. Yeah. What is it? <laughs> nice. That is the kind of energy that you do not have time for, my love. Absolutely fucking lutely not. Move on with your life. This person is a Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy, and a Salty Sally combined. You're wanting this artistic craft. You're wanting to do something where you are making money doing what you love being creative. Maybe you're an actress or an actor. Maybe you're a singer something like that. You're going to be able to do it, but you don't have the energy right now. And you definitely do not have the support with Salty Sally around. You do not. So even if this is somebody that you're really, really close with, like even in your family, I'm telling you right now, I know how bad that hurts. Like I had to let my mom, my own mother leave my life this year. Like I have no contact with my mom at all. And we were best friends for my whole life, you know, since I was an embryo. And I don't even talk to her anymore. I have like five people in my phone and three of them are my maintenance guys, my apartment. That is just sad. But you know what? I'm happier than I've ever been because of that. And I think that you need to recognize that you're going to be very happy very soon if you start fighting for you the way that this person sadly cannot. And I know you love them, but honey, this is, this is keeping you held back, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan as well. So I feel like this practicality that you've been needing to get your business up and growing um, or talent, whatever it is, you're going to have those ideas come back to you when you're not feeling like you're being uh, narcissistically abused in a way. This is kind of like a narcissist. I hate to say it. I do. I'm sorry, but it does feel narcissistic in a way. Okay. Anyway, I hope this reading helped you. If you guys want a personal reading with me, all the information's in the description. My suggestion, maybe try a banishing letter, a banishing spell, 
uh, use black candles. I do that for banishing spells when it's somebody like this. So, um, yeah, you guys, I really love you, and I hope that this reading helped. Uh, check out my Patreon for a lot of other videos, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.